Ladies and gents, welcome to 263 Insights. I hope you're okay wherever you are. Thank you guys for your support. We are now on 910 subscribers, 90 to go to 1,000. My goal was to reach 1,000 before the end of the year. We are almost there. Uh, thank you very much for your feedback also. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please click on the subscription, subscription button. Also like my content, subscribe guys like the video and comment on the comment section. So today, without wasting your time, we are going to look at the article in the Herald of Zimbabwe, the biggest newspaper in the country and the ZANPF uh, propaganda machine. So I'm just going to read the article uh, first. Uh, then I will talk a little bit about it. Uh, let's go. So the heading is essay to adopt Zimsec model. That's a quite amusing. Uh, it's crazy that this is happening. So in a sign, sign of the growing international respect for the Zimbabwe School Examination Council, SIMSEC, the South African government has requested that its student be examined by the board with the two countries expected to sign a memorandum of, of understanding on the matter in January next year, which is 2024. South Africa's request comes at a time when Zimsec is making strides in improving its examination processes and enhancing its international reputation. Primary and secondary school education minister Tod Tore Rai Moyo last week told the Senate during its question time that several countries have expressed interest in adopting the Zimbabwe school examinations. Uh, this was after the Senate chief Chikwaka had raised Questions on the perceived disparities between Zimsek and Cambridge. So this is uh, the chief asking. Uh, Mr. President said there are certain countries which also. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, okay, this is the minister actually repeating, uh, replying the, the chief. The chief, Mr. President said there are certain countries which also want to have Zimsek examinations. South Africa has made an application that they want their children to be examined by our SIMSEC board. The minister, Angelina Maswega, I don't know, I would, sorry if I butchered the same name, is coming next year in January for a memorandum of understanding, he said. In response to concern that the presence of the Cambridge in Zimbabwe was creating learning disparities, Minister Moy highlighted the process, the progress that SIMSEC has made and how it has gained respect as an international board. So we're going to wait there. I'm not going to read all the nonsense and all the boot, bullshit. We, we're going to stop there. Okay, so what is this? For me, it doesn't make sense and I don't understand why, uh, sorry guys, why is South Africa would want to adopt SIMSEC and want SIMSEC to manage their examinations. It doesn't make sense. Um, as far as maybe South Africa thinks their uh, uh, education system is not that good, I don't think so. I think their education system is actually good. The only problem that they have is they need to change their upgrading system, which is terrible. 30% is not a pass anywhere in the world. It actually creates um, lazy students because if I know that I'm going to pass it 30%, I'm not going to work hard. A lot of people will not work hard. And for the Minister of uh, Primary and Secondary Education to come up and say, SIMSEC, South Africa is applying to, uh, to, to let SIMSEC uh, manage the South African examinations, it's... It, it doesn't make sense. It's mind boggling. It doesn't make sense because I don't think it's possible. It's not possible because why it's not possible is because Zimsek is corrupt as fuck. I'm sorry for the language, but that's true. Zimsek is corrupt. And how many times I wrote Zimsek 10 years ago. But at that time, we had three people that leaked. We have to rewrite again. Each and every year, this the same story. Even now, it, now it's even worse because the teachers are also involved in this kind of way. They open examinations before, open papers before the writing date, and sell the papers to students. 
So Simseg had lost its credibility. No one knows Simseg internationally. Who knows Simseg? Nobody. They don't have value anymore. So because nobody trusts them because they are corrupt. So for them to think that they can go and manage examination to our neighbors, that's crazy. South Africa has got a large number of students than Zimbabwe. But since they cannot manage our own few students that we have. So I think the minister is being biased and that's just some propaganda bullshit to act like they are doing a great job uh, in whilst we know that simsec is terrible we know that in the idea that they want to ban someone is uh, uh, requesting to ban uh, cambridge that's the other problem that we have that some people just think that they had to enforce some laws in order for for people to 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 to, to love something people know what's good and what's bad People know that stem cell is terrible and at international level they have lost credibility. You know, it's better if I wrote if, if I can manage to write Cambridge and be better in the world. I'm going to write Cambridge. Because if I'm going to write uh, Zimsek, we know nobody's gonna recognize you. Because it's not I'm not saying our education system in Zimbabwe is bad. It's not that bad. It's just corrupt. We have been corrupt for the past two decades, and that has affected our education system. That is given that has made us look like we our education system is not good to the international level, uh, world because of the corruption. Each and every year, our papers leak. Each and every year, there is always. The paper leaked. People, student must write up again. And the other thing, why our education system looks like it's bad is, look, look at our teachers. How much are we paying our teachers? They're not gonna put effort at all. And if they get any chance to be corrupt to 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 sell papers, these exam papers to our students, they're gonna do that. So I don't think South Africa is such desperate to the extent that they want Simsek to govern their examination. That's some propaganda bullshit that is coming from, from the Minister of Primary and Secondary Education from Zimbabwe. I don't think also South African education system is not terrible. People always have this, uh, uh, that the mentality, that the perception that South African education system is, is, is bad. Let me tell you, I had the, uh, the, 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 the privilege to, to, to experience both uh, syllabuses. Uh, to be honest, South African syllabus is actually more modern than the Zimbabwean one. It's actually more applicable to the modern world than the Zimbabwean syllabus. And they, I have, in my days in secondary school, I didn't know how to do a research or to, to write an assignment. But I've seen my niece coming home with an assignment, doing research in high school. That is the South African syllabus. They all, the only thing that they need to do to be better is to change the mark, their mark, their grading system. Their grading system is terrible. They need to stop this 30% pass rate is everyone has passed. That's, that's bullshit because that's the only country that does that in the world. And it's actually producing lazy students, poor students who are going to be put in the system and you know how it ends. So I don't think this is true. I think that it's some propaganda that they always want to ask to feed us and to believe that Simsek is actually doing well. This Our education system is actually doing well. That's We all know the truth. So guys, let me know what you think on the comment section. And um, please subscribe to the channel and please have a happy Christmas and a terrific new year. Uh, take care of your loved ones. I'm out.